Richard. Hi, Deborah. I'm going to give you your show and tell on your trailer. It has one 12 volt battery on the front, two 20 pound propane cylinders that are full, except for what we use to service it. The arrow on the regulator is pointed towards this one over here. This is the one they worked off of when they started the trailer. As soon as this one would happen to go empty, it's going to turn red inside the eye, indicating that the bottle it's pointed to is empty and it's having to pick up from the one on the other side. On your electric jack, it has lights on three sides of the jack and an up and down button. For any reason, it won't go on its own. It does have a manual crank that comes in from the top to manually crank it up and down. Also has another hookup light for hooking up at nighttime. As we start down this side here, there's a few little extra goodies in a box here. Two handles. Little handle for the tongue jack. It does have a drain plug for the drain. It does have a couple scotches and a couple extra little handles in there. Freshwater tank fills to the top connection. It does have a drain line right here on the side, the blue line, that cap in the front compartment goes for it. And the bottom one is a uh, city water connect. You can hook to that with a water hose and regulator. And never have to fill the tank at the top. It does have an outside shower. It's got hot and cold running water going to it. it. Does have a black tank flush for dumping the holding tanks. You can hook a water hose and regulator up to this. It helps kind of clean out the inside of the black tank only. On your dump connection here, the black handle in the front is your toilet water. The gray handle in the back is going to be the kitchen, bathroom, and shower, and the two lines right below that is your two low water drain points. The red side is the hot side of the water system, the blue side is the cold side of the water system. Outside of the hot water heater, you always want to make sure you got water coming out of the pop-off valve before you turn on either source of electric or gas. Also has a drain plug for draining the hot water heater. The next connection back is the outside of the furnace. It sucks cold air around the outside, hot air out the center. And I always suggest putting the mud dauber screen over the outside of the furnace since it's been lit on propane. Lug nuts on the trailer has been torqued at 100 foot pounds. Tires are air to pressure, which is 65 pounds on the side of the tire cold. The next connection back is the outside of the refrigerator. The refrigerator works three ways 12 volt, 110, and propane. The 12 volt does not cool down. All it does is kick it over when it loses 110 power from electric over to gas. This is the cord for the trailer. 30 amp service. About 25 to 30 foot long. It does have a park cable hookup. If the park that you're at has cable, you can hook to this and you'll have the same cable they'll have at the park. It does have a spare tire on the back. It's not been torqued on, it's been on with a wrench, but it is aired up to pressure and it is a new tire. It does have an outside propane grill. Propane hookup coming out of the very back of the trailer. It does have the strong arms on all the Balance jacks on the corners. Two outside speakers and a porch light. Does have a 110 outlet that is also GFI protected by the outlet in the bathroom. Once the trailer's level from side to side, you put your four balance jacks down. Your steps are going to come out next. Then we're going to go to the inside. It does have a working fire extinguisher just inside the door. We're going to go ahead and run these slides out. Let's turn some lights on too.
As we start down this side here, it does have a push button on the light above the table. Table top comes off, goes between the two benches. The two back cushions come out to make a smaller bed here. It does have a fire escape window to the off door side. Another push button back here to turn the light on above the two recliners. And it does have a fire escape window there too. Does have straps for the TV and chairs. AM FM digital radio has A and B speakers. A is the auditorium inside, B is the outside speakers. Does have a power booster for the TV underneath the shelf here. It also has a 110 outlet on either side of the entertainment center. Does have a fold out couch, makes it into a hide a bed. Does have a fire escape window right behind it too. The light above the couch has to be turned on by hand. Refrigerator. Has two controls in it. One at the top for the freezer part and one down to bottom for the refrigerator section. It does have an on and off button. Tells you the colder, cold, colder, and coldest. We got it set right dead center in the middle. We'll strap that back here in a minute. Does have another light over here by the stove. There is paperwork for the trailer in the top compartment. A light for the stove top and a fan. The three burners up on top get turned to the high light position, light with a long lighter or match. Same way with the oven. You have to turn it to where it says pilot on, hold down on the button, light in the lower right hand corner for the oven. There is two sets of keys for the trailer. The black key does the front door lock and deadbolt. The 751 key does your, all your outside compartments. The bigger remote is for the TV. The middle sized remote is for the stereo. Probably got another TV in the bedroom where the other remote goes to. They left the panel off the back of the hot water heater so you can see the back of it. It has a single valve operation on the back for winterizing and dewinterizing of the trailer. There is a, another 110 outlet on the countertop. The other light has to be turned on by hand. Microwave has a clock button you can push, set the time on it. The only reason I set the time on the microwave is I can tell if the trailer's lost 110 power or not. White light switch on there turns the two lights above the sink on. Does have a working smoke detector up here at the top. We're going to go back to the monitor panel. When you test the battery life, it shows you it's fully charged. To get an accurate reading on the battery, you have to have the 110 line unplugged. Fresh water tank is showing you that it's empty. As it fills, it'll show one third, two thirds full. Black tank, which is the toilet water, still showing a third in it. Gray tank is empty, which gray tank one will be your bathroom sink and shower. Gray tank two will be your kitchen sink water only. The first red switch down here at the bottom turns the gas on for the hot water heater. The second one turns the electric side of the hot water heater on. The third red button turns the water pump on between the fresh water tank and the faucets. The fourth button is for the awning to run the awning in and out. First light switch right here runs your, our first flip switch here runs your off door side slide in and out. You have a porch light, ceiling lights, this is the center of all the lights through the trailer. The second one is the door side slide room to run the door side slide in and out. On your thermostat, when you push the button, automatically it goes to your fan speed, which is in the auto position, high or low. We're going to run it in the auto position. We're going to hit the mode button one more time to where it says cool. Hit the mode button one more time to where it says furnace. Hit that mode button one more time till it comes down to where it says on. 
and in about a minute's time that green light is going to go off and kick either one of the appliances air conditioner or furnace to the off position both of them will run for just a little while after they're turned off the air conditioner runs the fans on top and long enough to sling the water off the coils on top the furnace will run long enough to cool the burn chamber off before it shuts off it also has a working LP detector down here at the bottom we're going to step into the bathroom bathroom has a light switch on the wall that turns the light above us on you do have your GFI outlet in the bathroom a single foot flush on the side of the toilet and the shower door has to be opened up from the inside you have hot water on the left hand side cold water on the right hand side it does have a two shelf medicine cabinet up at the top and a little storage underneath the bathroom sink that will also access you into your water lines and drain lines for the sink I'm going to step right back through to the bedroom the light above the bed has to be turned on by hand the one above the headboard has to be turned on by hand we do have a fire escape window on the off door side second TV for the other little remote for the TVs and if you look down in this bottom panel down here there is a water pump in there water pump already has a bypass on it for winterizing of the trailer it does have storage up underneath the mattress and it also has a working carbon monoxide detector on the door side top in the bedroom does have a medicine or a closets on both sides for hanging clothes and does have several storage compartments up at the top for storing extra pillows and blankets antenna for cranking up for the TV crank the handle up once the handles up if you don't get the channels that you want on the TV pull down on the bigger section and rotate the handle back and forth Try your auto scan again. Sometimes you pick up a few channels, sometimes you lose a few channels. But that's basically everything on your trailer. One more thing I want to mention is the roof is the life expectancy of the trailer. If you don't keep the roof sealed up on top, the trailer won't last. Thank you.